Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel, CT Valley Girl Garden. My name is Elaine. And today I have a Walmart grocery haul for, haul for you today. Please excuse my voice, my stuffy nose. I am getting over a cold. Thank you guys for all my new subscribers and returning subscribers for watching my videos. I do appreciate it very much. So just going to show you from right to left that this is $165 grocery haul from Walmart. I have lighting there for better lighting. Okay, so we are going to start at this end. This is $165, y'all. This is all I got for $165. Okay, so at the end of the video, I will be sharing a few tips with you guys and showing you my receipt. So this is the 24 counts waffles, uh, uh, Kellis, uh, Ego, okay, chocolate chip one. Well, this is a box of pizza. Uh, these are the, uh, for at least, uh, that we, you know, we bought a few things to have a little dessert. Friendly's chocolate cake crunch. We got the strawberry one and this is 12 of the uh ice cream sandwiches vanilla ice cream sandwiches the great value brand okay okay sorry if you might hear some sniffing here and there because i i have a cold this is 10 pounds of the uh produced chicken uh chicken and leg quarters 10 pounds. I bought two bags of those. I've got a gallon of milk. And this is the Walmart brand. I have the Walmart brand Great Value Frozen Strawberries. Which I believe is a four pound. You're better off buying a four pound and a smaller bag. It's better for your buck. And two one pound ground beef. Uh, ground beef chuck. Two of those. One gallon of the Cornola oil, Gray Valio. I got I bought 60 counts of eggs, Gray Valio. <clears throat> this is the um, Goya planting chips. One bag of those. One bag of the UTZ. That's the uh, sour cream rich uh, chip right here. Ripple chip. A uh, bunch of bananas. Uh, this is the two pound mild cheddar cheese from Gray Value. A bag of Doritos. Spicy sweet chili Doritos, which is my daughter's favorite. <clears throat> Moving along to the front. I had bought three of these Great Values uh, to make Jello. Uh, these were the cheapest one they had, which was 88 cents. So I got pineapple, strawberry, and cherry. Trying to lose some weight, so I bought those for snacks. And then I got the uh, French vanilla, and they only have the sugar-free one. That's the only reason why I got it. Uh, coffee creamer, great value. So then I got two cans of the Swanson. Uh, this one is the white and dark premier uh, chuck of chicken, 15 grams of protein, about two of those. Then I bought the Chick-fil-A, one of their sauces, a one can of corned beef from Libby brand, uh, one 32 ounce of ketchup, great value, uh, the soft tortillas, uh, taco bowls, Great Value white bread, a bag of the cereals, Lucky Charms, and this is a two pound, and also a Great Value paper towels, and then moving on over here, this is the Great Value Granulated Sugar, 30 calories, but this is the four pound. 
And this is the all-purpose flower, Grey Value. And this bag here is, if I could see it, I thought it was like a four pound. But it is um, five pounds, this one here. This is all for $165, guys. This is all I could have bought for my groceries for February 2024. After this is all gone, I will have to go to the food pantry. And I'm not ashamed to go to the food pantry. Okay? So, <clears throat> let me share some tips with you guys. Okay? First, if you can, always buy in bulk because you get more for your buck. So, I have bought the 24-pack instead of the 10-pack. Because the 10-pack is $2 and change. But for $5, you get 24 Okay? And also the chicken. The bag of chicken are 10 pounds. These are 10 pounds. Okay. So these used to be $5 and change before the pandemic. Now there's, they went up $2. They're seven something each. So I got me two bags. I want to go back and get, when I get extra funds, buy more bags before they go up. Before the prices go up even more to can the other two bags. Um, the ground beef, I want to give you another tip that this is better buying a 10, a 10 pound bag than buying a family pack that you get eight pieces. Um, I would put in the description box how many pieces are here after I open this bag. What I do is for a family of two, I put two or three in a Ziploc bag. I open this up, clean it, put it two or three in a Ziploc bag, and freeze it, okay? So, you don't have to clean it, but I like to clean it to get these things off, and also if there's any blood on here. So, we had to cut back on ground beef. Um, the two packs, these were $5 and change. So, this is one pound each. These are two pounds together. This one and that one. You got to look at ounces and prices when you go shopping. They had a three pound for um, $12.99. These two were one pounders for five something each. I saved a dollar and change just by buying two single ones instead of buying the three pound one. Okay. So now we used to use a pound for, for reps, recipes. Now we're just, uh, these two ground beef will is enough for four recipes now because we're cutting the meat we're cutting the portion in half one thing i want to stock up is in the oil because this oil used to be like six dollars and now it's up to ten dollars after the pandemic okay so i would like to stock up in oil before it goes up i'm going to give you the next tip is frozen berries if you buy frozen berries okay this is a four pound. This was eight dollars in chain. Their three pounds were six something. <clears throat> Their three pounds were six something. For two more dollars, you could get a four pound. Okay, if you use it as much as I do. First, I I buy those for my smoothies. Um, the eggs is what I want to share with you. My great biggest tip today would be buying a bulk size of eggs. The Walmart 12 dozen of eggs are now almost $4 for the cheap brand. That used to cost like a dollar something. And when I went shopping, it was the same price. Now, this 60 eggs are, if I show you my receipt here, the 60 count of eggs is right down here. It says eggs. And I had it in yellow. And if you can see there... It was $8.63 for the eggs. Now, if you was to buy, these are five dozens in here. So five dozen for, let's say, $4 each, routing it off, it will cost you 20 bucks, right? So four times five is 20. So what I did was, I'm only the only person here that eats eggs. So you could talk to a family member, a friend, and say, hey, I'm going to get the 60 eggs, but I don't need 60. Let's split it in half. 
and I'll take 30 you take 30 and you just give me four dollars and fifty cents back you just give me four dollars and fifty cents so now both of you have 30 eggs for four dollars and thirty cents which is closely to the price of one dozen of twelve so that's another way that you could buy is in bulk and share with your family now you got an extra four dollars for whatever you want to spend it on gas you want to spend it on another gallon of milk food you have now um, money to spend a little bit more or have more money in your pocket okay so i wanted to share that tip also i want to share the tip with the cereal so the cereal bags oh uh, this is a two pounder so this is Lucky Charm. It's still a name brand, but instead of in the box, it's in a bag. So the Walmart, the ones for Lucky Charm brand, um, which is General Mills, the ones in the box cost a little more than the ones in the bag. And they are just one pound. One pound could cost you like $4 and change these days. So if you buy the ones in the bag... You're saving money because now you got two pounds for six dollars and change. Okay. And you got you're saving money instead of buying two boxes for four dollars each, eight dollars. Now you got and that's two pounds, two boxes cost you eight dollars. Now you're buying one bag with two pounds, costing you six dollars and change. I know it's just like a dollar and something savings, but guys, a little bit of saving here and there is going to help your uh, keeping more money in your pocket and you'll be able to buy more groceries. We're all trying to see how we could save money in groceries and I'm just trying to share my tips. So so, so between those, the Lucky Charms, the eggs, the, the, the uh, Ego, already I have a savings of close to $10, okay? So the, the cereal, I know it's a lot, but you could buy these containers they have at, uh, I had bought these a while back. And you could put them in here, and then I got the bigger one in this, that this whole two pound will fit in my really big one that I have of this. You could put it in there, and it will last the cereal even more than them opening and trying to close this bag, letting air in, okay? So you know how children are. So this is, um. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, I also bought Fast Rising Instant Yeast, Walmart brand. Okay, I compare Walmart's brand with other brands, and this was $2 cheaper. I mean, a dollar cheaper than the brand. Again, you have to save money, right? So, now I used to, pre I was prepping, and all my food with prepping is gone. I need to start all over in prepping. Um, and some of it was in my fault because a lot of that food I saved, I had to share with other people. Now I am in my own apartment and now I'm in ground zero starting to prep. So I bought me these two cans of meat to start. We have to start somewhere to be prepared. So I'm starting with these two cans of meat. These two cans of meat are... 9.75 ounces so that's over a little bit over a pound of meat in there with the two cans okay these went up too well these each were two two something i think 250 or 275 okay so i'm starting but i'm also going to buy two more bags of these and um can my start canning now I'm going to cover the camera because I forgot to show you one more thing and I don't want you to see my um. Okay, so I forgot that I also bought 20 pound of rice. Um, this rice was $12.95. And so with the rice, the prices seems to be going up. So I want to go start again storing rice in five gallons of buckets. So I want to go buy another bag this month. I'm trying to sell some things that I make so i could buy more groceries so this is my groceries for today this is my receipt from walmart there's the date okay this was yesterday so the rice is 12.96 i had it right there let me just put it more towards the light so 
I used to buy that bag of rice for ten dollars. Um, the Eggo waffles are five ninety seven, and that should last me for a whole thirty days because I don't eat waffles. My eldest daughter does, so she doesn't eat it every day. So that will last us for thirty days. And the eggs, I show you the price. Here's my total is one hundred and sixty four thirty four. Uh, my for all this the paper towel everything okay well guys i hope you like this uh video i hope that my tips were helpful to you um let me know in the comments if your prices are going uh higher at your grocery stores um every time i step into do groceries any store it could be any store walmart bj's big y stop and shop i just Every time I don't feel good when I'm in the grocery store because it makes me so sad how expensive food is now and everybody is struggling. So do your best if you can. Uh, this is just breakfast and dinner I bought. Breakfast and dinner. We're, I'm skipping lunch and my daughter's at work for lunch. So this is breakfast and dinner. And then if we have to like use some of this chicken for for the weekend for lunch we'll do that we'll see how far this will take us so guys if you did like this video please like like this video if you like it subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the notification bell button so that youtube can notify you when i put up my next video um also i forgot to mention that the ketchup is not 32 ounces i'm sorry it's 38 ounces and we never buy walmart's brand but we love the name brand of ketchup, but this is where we have to cut corners to survive. I bought the Chick-fil-A because I cannot eat ketchup because I have acid reflex. So the ketchup's for my daughter. The Chick-fil-A is for me. All right, guys, that's my video for today. Um, stay tuned for my next video. I will be sharing with you how to cook frozen fish in your Instant Pot. Well, happy, happy shopping, happy saving. And take care until my next video. Bye.